Well, you just saw why one of my most treasured possessions is a picture of Sally Yates and me in the Selma Courthouse on the 50th anniversary of the march across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. Good evening, everyone. You all know the poem, The Second Coming, by William Butler Yeats, with its line about the center cannot hold. Um, and its couplet, the best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. That's not true. We are the best, and we are both full of passionate intensity, and we have strong convictions. You've seen that. You've seen that in our, honor, in our honorees and speakers tonight. How inspiring to hear from Lauren, from Dahlia, from Margie, and from my former boss, Sally. You may have noticed they have something in common. As, as Helen Reddy would have said, they are strong, they are invincible, they are women. <laughs> ACS is all of us, we the people, from those of you who haven't even begun law school yet to those of you who retired sometime in the last millennium. But I especially want to thank my colleagues on the ACS board and on the ACS staff, so could you all please stand so that we could thank you. Now, because, ACL, because ACS is an inclusive organization, I don't want you to think that there aren't great men, too. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about some things I've learned uh, from two great men that I, I want to share with you. The first of them comes from uh, President Franklin Roosevelt in his first inaugural address, and there was a large crowd there for it. Um, he said that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needless efforts to convert retreat into advance. Now, that's not exactly true. There are other bad things in the world to fear, including, of course, Jefferson Beauregard Sessions III and ICE agents who are out of control. But fear that paralyzes us or throws us into reflexive spasms, or causes us to seek into an emotional depression makes everything worse. So the first thing to remember is do not be afraid. Now this is not the first day, difficult time in our lives, so I want to turn to another uh, point, which is in World War II, at the height of World War II, Judge Learned Hand, who by the way was nominated to the court by a Republican, William Taft, and elevated to the Second Circuit by an extremely conservative Republican, Calvin Coolidge, spoke at I Am an American Day, which was a day to celebrate naturalization uh, in New York. And before the new citizens said the Pledge of Allegiance, he made a few remarks about liberty and justice that we should remember today. Uh, and these are, uh, I think, you know, my, my hero Elaine Jones used to say uh, on occasions when she was the last speaker, Everything has already been said, but not yet by everybody. Um, uh, he echoed something that Sally said, which is about where we get uh, our power from. It's from norms and not just from law. And he said, liberty lies in the hearts of men and women. When it dies there, no constitution, no law, no court can even do much to help it. While it lies there, it needs no constitution, no law, no court to save it. Now, I think the last part of that is probably a little over-optimistic. But it is our hearts, the hearts of people in ACS, along with our minds when we litigate in court, our bodies when we show up in the streets, and, I dare say, our wallets when we contribute to important causes and do go to the ACS website and do that, um, that ensure liberty. And Learned Hand then continued with these words. He said, what then is the spirit of liberty? I cannot define it. I can only tell you my own faith. The spirit of liberty is the spirit which is not too sure that it is right. The spirit of liberty is the spirit which seeks to understand the minds of other men and women. 
The spirit of liberty is the spirit which weighs their interests alongside its own without bias. The spirit of liberty remembers that not even a sparrow falls to earth unheeded. The spirit of liberty is the spirit of him who near 2,000 years ago taught mankind that lesson it has never learned but never quite forgotten, that there may be a kingdom where the least shall be heard and considered side by side with the greatest. For the most part, I agree with Judge Hand. He and I have different faiths. I mean, you know, obviously. Um, uh, but each of those faiths, and I would expect the faiths of all of you in the room, whether you're religious or secular, believes that the least should be heard and considered side by side with the greatest. But although I am generally not too sure I am right, I am sure of this. It is wrong to tear immigrant children from their parents' arms. It is wrong to inflict solitary confinement on juveniles. It is wrong to ignore climate change. It is wrong to, con to criticize athletes who have a social conscience. It is wrong to force women to carry unwanted pregnancies to terms. And it is wrong to deny working people the ability to band together to protect their interests. But we cannot simply be against things. We have to say what we are for. And here's my list. I am for a third reconstruction. I am for a newer deal. And I am for a greater society. We need a democracy in which all citizens have the right to vote, have access to the polls, have votes that are counted. We need a democracy in which individuals have the material resources to participate effectively and to have their voices heard. We need a democracy in which citizens receive the kind of education that allows them to exercise their rights intelligently and fearlessly and effectively. And we need a democracy that is fair and compassionate to all of us. Now, that's a large task, but we are up to it. And here again, as Caroline would want me to say, donate to ACS if you can. <laughs> We need more troops and more funds and more attention to amplify the great work that ACS members are doing every day. But don't just show us the money. I would like you to bring the energy and the knowledge and the insights you get at this convention back to your communities. Share the ACS reports and materials. And if you're more technologically sophisticated than I, follow ACS on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And let me end with a call to arms, but a call to a different kind of arms. Uh, you've been hearing a lot from, I think, almost all the speakers tonight about Robert Kennedy, and these are words that I first heard Robert Kennedy say, uh, but of course they're not his. Uh, they're from uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson's Ulysses. Come, my friends, tis not too late to seek a newer world. Push off, and sitting well in order, smite the sounding furrows. For my purpose holds to sail beyond the sunset and the baths of all the western stars until I die. It may be that the gulfs will wash us down. It may be we shall touch the happy isles and see the great Achilles whom we knew. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old day moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Lauren and Joanna, Dahlia, Margie, and Sally, heroic hearts all. They didn't yield, nor should we. Good night, and have a great convention.